Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about how to create a date picker in Android. So, first of all, let me just make some changes. Uh, this changes won't be in your if you're for uh, in your app if you're following the tutorial. I'll just make those changes to test uh, a couple of things. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's start. Let's get started without wasting time. Uh, to make uh, a date picker uh, we are basically going to implement date picker dialog not the date picker widget because dialog is very flexible to implement so let me just remove all of this code we don't need button uh, uh, sorry button and edit text both so let me just take a text view um width and height both will be wrap content text size will be 25 dp text will be uh select your date here and id obviously will be date picker uh let me just give a bit specific text view date picker tv date picker so now let me just give constraint uh, from the designed tab here both horizontal will be zero so you can stay in the middle of the screen and the top constraint will have padding of 32 dp uh, let's give a little bit more 64 now go to main activity dot kt we don't need this uh code so let me remove this function as well i accidentally removed the set content view line as well so let me just rewrite it r dot layout dot main activity activity dot main xml yeah so first of all we need to refer to our text view so let's create a variable text view equals to find view by id of type text view r dot id dot t the date picker and now I uh, will open the uh, date picker dialog by clicking on the text view. So we'll implement a on click listener on text view. So tv dot set on click listener here. Yeah. Now uh, first of all we'll take variable of date picker dialog equals to date picker dialog and as parameter first parameter is this which is the context of this activity and the second parameter will be date picker dialog dot on set the on date set listener with this curly braces which will be lambda function so let's set it and here we will read uh, we'll get year month and the date that we select from the dialog in return but we still have to give a couple of uh, actually three variables here so that would be uh, the current date month and year so to get the current date month and year we have to take another instance of the calendar object so uh, cal equals to calendar dot get instance so for year we'll take variable year equals to cal dot get calendar with capital c dot year then well month same way cal dot get calendar dot month and we'll take day uh, equals to cal dot get calendar dot 
day of month so we have to pass this parameter here uh, sequentially year month and day that's it so we have our date picker dialog completed now we have to uh, to show this dialog we still need to write one more line which is date picker dialog dot show otherwise it uh, the dialog won't open when you click the text view now whatever we select the date uh, whatever date we select from the dialog we have to set that date to our text view so i'll write tv dot set uh, or tv dot text your selected date is okay i'm not gonna write this long uh date colon then i'm gonna embed uh, a couple of things uh which is day of month that we get in the return here so day of month which will be the day plus now uh in the case of month it will return an array uh you can think of it as an array of month and array start from zero so we don't have uh one to twelve for months we have 0 to 11 for months so to display the correct month we have to implement uh increment that by one so uh let, let me just write this uh slash here before going to month so as i said i have to increment month by one uh okay let me just uh, change the name of this variable so you uh you you're not that uh, you don't get confused uh i'm just gonna write my year and my month okay so here change my year and my month because this uh, is the same name as it is so actually uh anyway so you have to increment month by one so i incremented that and the last uh, we have to concat is the value of year so that's it we don't have to do anything else now let's let me just give uh, a space a bit here so now let's run our application okay so our application is run uh, so now let's click on this text view it will show us uh, the date picker dialog and we can see the date is set to today's date which is 22nd march 2021 now if i select any date let me select 25th of march and click ok it will give me date of 25th 3 2021 so that's how you implement date picker dialog and get the date from a uh, user whenever you want in your application so that's it for this video. In the next video, we'll see time picker dialogue the same way we saw this date picker dialogue. So I'll see you guys in the next video.